I'd like to go over exercise 1-2 and um, the part that I think that you might want to see is just um, getting the MySQL part to work. Um, and I also wanted to show you how I've set things up. So when I installed XAMPP I, I put it in a folder on my USB disk. Um, notice that I've named it with my last name so that if anybody finds it maybe they can uh, identify whose it is if I happen to leave it in the classroom. Um, I took this um, control.exe, the XAMPP control panel, and I made a shortcut and moved it into the root folder so that I don't have to be hunting around in the XAMPP folder for this every time I want to start the control panel. And Then I also um, I made a bookmark um, for the um, index of book apps and um, that's just localhost slash book apps. And um, the way that I did this, I just grabbed this icon and then I dragged it um, into that folder to make a, sh a shortcut. Now, um, when we uh, when we're in this control panel, you want to make sure that you start Apache and then you start MySQL. Now when I go to um, this index of book apps and then I try to test out this chapter 4 product manager, I get a database error. There's an error connecting to the database and um, it, what it's telling us is that we have to install that database as described in the appendix. And um, where that's at is it's on page 807. It tells you a little bit about PHP and then on um, page 811 and um, 813 it tells you a little bit about how to install uh, or import the, um, the database. But I'm going to show you how to do that right now because um, it's a little confusing if you've never used um, PHP MyAdmin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to XAMPP and um, for MySQL I, I can hit the Admin button and what that does is it opens up PHP MyAdmin. Um, we're going to talk more about this in a few weeks and so you'll get very familiar with this. Um, notice that we have some um, databases already in here and you don't want to touch these databases or everything's going to fall apart and you have to reinstall. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on import And, um, and then I'm going to browse to where the file is and it's in the book apps folder and the underscore create db folder and then there's this file um, create db sql so I'm going to double click on that to open it and then um, I'm just going to scroll down and click on go And it takes a little while. And once I do that, I'll see the database listed over here on the left. I get a little um, success note up here. And where this is listed is um, underneath this My. So I've got two databases here, My Guitar Shop 1 and My Guitar Shop 2. And if you click on this, you're going to see um, what's in this database. If I click on Browse, for example, I can see the categories listed. Um, so I have three categories with um, three, ca three category names. And if I go back, I could look at Products. And I can see that I have um, some product names here. Okay, so now if I go back to that um, that web page that didn't work before and now I hit reload, or I'm sorry, refresh, then I can see that this, this page works.